Seinfeld. Jessica has lived and taught in eight countries over the last 10 years, and as a linguist and certified therapist in Gestalt Psychotherapy, has trained public speaking at many global and regional enterprises, as well as having won titles in public speaking. She has run dating workshops and trains facilitators on adaptability, intelligence, mindset, and skills, and is also a volunteer clown, hospitals, and, as, and an aspiring clown influencer on, on YouTube. All of this has inspired Jessica to develop Engage, a method of learning by experience, the basics of which she says we can pick up in five minutes. Jessica regards herself as a jack of all trades in the communication training world, but as a specialist in fun and high energy. And she's asking our help to understand which monkeys want the bananas that she is offering. So with her pitch entitled Engage, Think Like Messy, please join me in welcoming Jessica Breitenfeldt. Don't you hate it when you're talking and someone does this? If I could show you in the next one minute how to avoid that happening to you, would you give me one more minute? Thank you. I'm going to need a volunteer. Can I get perhaps Connie or Guy, whoever turns on their microphone first? Da, da, da. Guy, there you go. He's the guy. Guy, yeah. we're going to do a one word at a time story. Two sentences. I say a word, you say a word. Gotcha. Once. Upon. A. Time. There. Was. A. Princess. Who. Longed. For. A. Handsome. Prince. Mm. Until. One. Day. She. Died. Oh, good job, guy. Thank you. Now, totally expected. Story went the way we wanted, right? What did Guy have to do to be able to adapt and engage and finish the story with me and work as a team player? What we need, what teams need, what conferences need, what you and your children need is adapting to one another. As Savvy said, what is plan B? Luckily, Guy said princess and prince, because that's where my mind was going. Straight to sex, I tell you, Guy, you and me, right? But what happens when your plan A is totally wrong? It's totally not what you wanted, not what the team wanted, not what the economy was hoping to lead you to. I'm a Gestalt therapist and an applied improvisation consultant. What we do around the world our, my compañeros in Spanish, in Spanish, English, and German, is engage teams to connect and to share information better. What happens is teams do not feel comfortable with each other, and they're not willing to open up and connect and share what's necessary. I have a three-step program. Yeah. Alcoholics Anonymous is 12. <laughs> with Jessica Brainfeld, it's just three. Now, imagine you want to be like Messi, like every 12-year-old boy in the entire world. And we want to be with Messi, every 12-year-old girl in the world. Messi, when he's on the field, the ball comes towards him, but then oh, the defender moves like he didn't expect. If you want your team to think like Messi, adapt quickly, make strong, decisive decisions, and act with strong confidence to lead the team, you need to know how to, three steps, listen. Listen to the reality. The ball is no longer where you expect it to be. Accept. Accept that this is the reality. You wish it weren't like this, and it is. And then the third one, which is about collaboration, is build. Listen, accept, and build. I can teach your team, as I have throughout Barcelona for the last four years, in Coca-Cola, Dambir, IS Global, and the local government, helping them. To... Sorry, your time's up. Helping them, that was the end. Jessica, thank, thank you very much indeed for, for that. Very entertaining 
uh, Rich, and could I ask again the audience to remember to, to fill in their voting slips? And I'm now going to go straight over to our evaluation team. And this time, the first one to go is Guy. Take it away, Guy. OK. Um... I'll start by the very beginning of the very beginning, which is the title. Already, I thought the title was uh, at least intriguing, and you got Messi, which is a recognizable name, and we wonder what you're going to talk about. Um, I thought your facial expressions were excellent, uh, really good, and um, that that uh, just really drew us in. I think on Zoom, we tend to not do that, and I think you did a good job of making sure that you were expressive. The use of props, and I'll remind, I think you had two, including that the whistle, uh, but of course you use the phone. Um, so right then we are like a dog looking at a squirrel, like we can't get our eyes off of what you're showing us. Um, so that uh, was uh, good. You basically um, brought us through these uh, problems and then you were saying that the solution um, well, sorry, the first thing you did is you got me involved, or you took a volunteer and you had an interaction with the audience, so that uh, already uh, builds further into uh, drawing us in. And then you said we needed to adapt. That was the solution. Um, so I think from there, you start to talk about the solution oriented and that's where it thinks. So in terms of structure, I saw that and that was that was good that it was a signal that was clear to the audience. And now we're talking about what it is that I'm selling. Um, now that we've been intrigued about this improvisation and the princess and the prince, and you gave the example. It so happens that our example worked well because we were, maybe I was trying to be too congenial and just mm -hmm. going uh, you know with the plain vanilla and not throw in a, a curveball to you. But you were explaining that that's not always the case. And then you go on to explain what do we do in this case? And then then you have a three steps a process um, and then you did good bring in messy which was great if you hadn't that would have been a problem and you ex you explain listen accept build so i'm with you i know what you're selling and then you give credibility by talking about the companies you work for so good job on that guy thank you very much indeed thank you so now can i please move on to danielle hello thank you so much jessica um I guess my first question is, is, were you familiar that this was predominantly a European audience? Mm -hmm. Okay, because the first thing I noticed was the, the American version of ah. counting. Mm -hmm. um, it's a quick win uh, just to start building a little bit rapport that way. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's just one thing to keep in mind is know your audience. It's mm -hmm. basic, but we did go off and have a little, go, you know, turn of who's where today. So maybe just listen to the to that can just just take it to the next step also i love the idea that you are using your 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 props and your space uh just make sure that when you're on camera you not everyone's on spotlight view that you need to hold it there a little longer you said do you see that look at that and then i was actually trying to find you because i was on gallery view and i couldn't actually see your gesture so either feed off people on camera or the awkward pause or pause with poise can really help if that's really important that you're selling, if you're going to use that. It may take people a little bit longer to see it than on a live stage. And I think what I really uh, would like a little bit more is just choosing the key messaging and narrowing for a three-minute pitch. I had there was so much information, and I think you did, Guy did a wonderful time actually summarizing it, but even in the summary, it was quite <laughs> robust. So I, I would say that that for a seven-minute speech would have been perfect, and I would just challenge you to maybe think about what are the key things and the key turns of phrases that you can do in three minutes and simplify. Because if you're a communications expert, simplicity <laughs> in the messaging is, is what you're selling, and I think that if you do that, uh, you'll, you're spot on. Danielle, thank you very much indeed. And now, to conclude the, this evaluation, Diane. Yeah, thank you, Jessica. Wow, that was a lot in three minutes. I mean, uh, thank you, Guy, for really, for really uh, resuming the different steps and points you went through. And what I admire was your bravery, because you definitely took risks in your, in your pitch, uh, playing the game with Guy, what would you have done if he, he would have continued your phrases in a very different way, uh, which you would not have expected? So you you were, would have been at a risk to lose uh, track. So I thought it was really brave of you to to go that 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 way. Uh, I like that you brought in a lot of images. Uh, you you were visual with the uh, with the prop but 
also explaining Messi. I think Messi is also a strong uh, image for everybody. And then I liked the, the conclusion, listen, accept, uh, and, and, and build. So that was, that was quite, uh, quite strong. And of course, uh, as a future client, I always like to be reassured by uh, hearing uh, with which kind of clients you have already worked. So that's very reassuring to know that you have already worked with, uh, with big names. So very well done. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. And thank you too, Jessica. So our next speaker is Sylvain Munch.